Calhoun. The date is February 7, 1837, the day after Senator's big speech on slavery. What is your position on slavery, and how did you develop this position? Well, Ms. Liddell, the slaves are a good thing for our country nowadays. The South is the recovering from oppression, and the slaves are just helping us bring back our economy. And how do you feel about the abolition of slavery? The abolishment of slavery is ruining our country. It's a hatred more deadly than one hostile nation has ever entertained towards one another. If Congress don't leave it alone, we're going to have a civil war on our hands. Who do you think should decide whether a state should have slaves or not? It's up to that state and the majority vote of that state to decide for themselves, miss. Should the reference of slavery be in the Constitution? No, they should not. The subject is beyond the jurisdiction of Congress. They have no right to touch it in any way, shape, or form to make the subject or deliberation or discussion. Do you think that slaves should have the rights of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hold that sentence right there! <laughs> the life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness only pertain to the citizens of the United States of America. Slaves are not citizens of the United States of America. They are property of plantation owners in the United States of America. Not citizens, so no, they do not have the life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Some have said that slavery is a positive good. Do you agree or disagree? Duh, I agree. Miss Adele, if we're going to do this, you need to listen. Alright? That gum. If people don't agree with laws, then who has the right to change them? The states or the central government? The states. Because the state should have the right to override the federal government's laws if they find them to be unconstitutional. Do you believe slavery may eventually destroy the nation? Dadgum no. Shoot, people just see how much of a positive it is in our economy, we would be great. And if the North would just leave it alone and quit trying to abolish it, then it wouldn't be a problem and it will never be a problem. But if they don't leave it alone, then yes, it will be a problem. They just need to see how much of a positive it is to our economy and our nation as a whole. Are you a supporter of the Fugitive Slave Act? Well, Miss Adele, if you did your research, you know that I was part of the Fugitive Slave Act and making it. So, to answer your question, yes, I do. Slaves, if they're run away, they are property of the plantation owners and should be returned. Well, thank you for your time, Senator Calhoun. You're welcome, Miss Liddell. You have a nice safe trip back to your century or wherever you're from. Open Gangnam Style